welcome back to my channel, Jackie Southern Soul. In today's video, we are going to be making Gordon Ramsay's eggy bread. Okay, Lauren and Jalayla surf YouTube so much and they always wanna make something they see. So this right here recipe is something that Lauren has been wanting to make for a long time. And I didn't know what it was because she kept saying eggy bread. I wanna make some eggy bread. It's really French toast. Okay, so that's what Gordon Ramsay calls it on his video. Okay, I forgot to mention, um, these two little girls had a first day of school yesterday. How did you like it? It was good. It was good? Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you liked it. Lauren, you think you're gonna like being in regular classes now? Yeah, I okay. always wanted to be in a regular class. Okay. Lauren has been in Montessori since preschool, so this is her fifth year going to school. Layla, how do you like being a fifth grader? Um, it's very nice. It's nice? You think you're gonna like your teacher this year? What's your teacher's name, Layla? Uh, Miss Johnson. Miss Johnson, oh. Well, I hope you like her. Okay. My teacher's name is Miss Ferguson. Miss Ferguson? Do okay, I, I need you to talk up a little bit, okay? My teacher's name is Miss Ferguson. <laughs> okay, Ms. so I had to work yesterday. This is my long week for working. So I only got to see them before they got on the bus. I didn't get to walk them on the bus. We would usually take them to school on the first day. But since everything's going on right now, parents are not allowed at the school. So I just let them get on the bus. So they go to school Tuesdays and Thursdays and I'll be off on Thursday. So I will be able to get them on the bus and off the bus on Thursday. But I do have a little clip to show you of their first day right as I was leaving to go to work. All right, and here it is. What's your teacher's name, Lauren? Yes. Ferguson? The, Layla, we're gonna have to find out your teacher's name because they had you mixed up, okay? Okay, guys, I'm gonna let you take a look at this on my Facebook portal because it's easy, it's, it's over here to me. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to, it says Gordon Ramsay's cinnamon eggy bread with quick stewed apples. All right, and you know what, most of the time, I like to have a lot of things in my kitchen so that when I see a recipe like this, I have everything already on hand and I don't have to stop and go out to the grocery store and get it. I try to keep my kitchen fully stocked. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and click on the video. Okay guys, so this is the video. I'm not gonna show you any of it because I don't want to get flagged for copyright infringements, but this is the video right here. And all you have to do is click on it and it's a really quick video. Uh, let's see, it's only four minutes and <laughs> six seconds. So, you know, mine is gonna take a little bit longer than that. All right, so what we're gonna do is, this is right. This right here is his video. It was released in 2019 and it looks really good. He uses, I don't know what kind of apples he used though. I don't, he doesn't say what kind of apples, apples he uses, but we have um, ambrosia apples here. I bet it would taste even better with some Granny Smith apples because they're a little tart. And when you put that brown sugar on it, it's really delicious. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started. Okay, the first thing I'm go, I wanna do is let you guys see that we're gonna be using Sara Lee white whole grain bread. Now, Gordon Ramsay uses um, a loaf of bread and he says it's kind of old, so it's a little bit dried out, which he likes that. So we're just gonna be using some regular bread. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is get the apples chopped. So what he did was cut around the core. <laughs> I've never thought to cut it like that either. And look at that, the whole core is out. So I'm gonna get them cut like that and then you can chop them when I'm done getting the core, getting off the core, okay? I'm watching. All right, and the, we're gonna leave the peelings on here because that way the apple won't smush all up when it's, um, when it's cooked. It helps the apple to stay together. I'm just gonna come over here and help Lauren get these apples chopped up. And then as soon as we finish, we're gonna go ahead and get back to making this caramel sauce. All right, 
I turn my eye up some because Gordon Ramsay is using a higher heat than a faucet. So what he does is let the pan get hot and then he put the sugar in and he used two tablespoons. We're gonna use four tablespoons because I think we have a little more apples than he does. So we're gonna just go ahead and put the sugar in there and let that caramelize. It'll start to melt down. good and brown. We're going to go ahead and add the apple. He didn't add a stick of butter. <laughs> a dab of butter. There you go. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Oops, this one you didn't show. Now my eye is on eight. Yes, it is. This is how it's going to be a caramel. Mm -hmm. It was caramel, but when you do that, you add the cream to it. So we're going to let this cook down for a little bit, and we'll be right back. Once you have the apples glazed, you're going to add a couple tablespoons of water. Stir it, please. Good girl. Let's see. Let's see. All right, now we're going to let those simmer for a few minutes. What we're gonna do with the apples is switch eyes so it can continue to cook down. Once that sauce starts getting thicker, then you turn it off because they're done, you don't want mush. Now we're gonna get started with the eggs. All right, the next thing, we're gonna use three whole eggs. You're gonna whisk them. Then we're gonna add four tablespoons of whole milk. tablespoons of sugar. That's going to make it sweet. Then you're going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, there you go. So get that mixed up. We have our pan heating up. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, looks good. Yeah. Go ahead and check on the apple. Okay. Okay, that looks good. The egg mixture is good and thick. And we're just gonna take that bread and we're gonna put it down in there. Are they gonna stick? 
It's good? Okay, let's see how it looks. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good and caramelized. So what we're gonna do is just sit this to the side right now. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna sit this to the side. We're gonna turn the eye off. And our, our pan is heating up. And we're getting ready to start adding the bread. All right, we're gonna add about a teaspoon of oil. That's olive oil. Then we're gonna put a pat of butter. The oil helps to keep the butter from burning. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna get the bread in here. Yeah, that's how you do it. We're not gonna soak it because we don't want it to Soak up too much of the egg mixture. One. Two, there we go. We're not gonna, he do it two at a time. Because they're gonna rise a little bit. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, he just turn it. Look at that. Oh. Mm hmm Looks not delicious. Burnt. No, it's not. No, it's not. They look delicious. I don't like my burnt. Oh, whatever, Lauren. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and put them on a platter. Oh, yeah, you do the second one. That's what it looks like so far. All right, you go ahead and work quickly doing the second one. Okay, go ahead. Good. And when you got two pieces of bread, I always try to get them far apart. Coat it good. She's doing a good job over here. I know. Good girl. Okay, come on, put it in. There you go. <laughs> okay. And we're gonna let that cook. And I'm gonna get the powdered sugar ready. You have done a good job, Lord. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. And your sister just disappeared. I think it's ready. Okay, put it down. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, it's ready. So we're gonna turn that eye off. We're gonna go ahead and put that on the plate too. And then you move the eggs, move the eggs, move the eggs. How many eggs? I'm not going to do anything but taste the tablespoon because, you know, I'm cleansing. So I can't really eat that. Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and put this on here. What would you say, Layla? I have some questions. Oh, you do? <laughs> okay, so guys, we have everything ready now. So we're going to take the apples. Look at that. Look at that. And look at that caramel sauce at the bottom down here. Okay, we're gonna just pour all of the apples on there. How do you make the caramel sauce? Well, if you had been down here like you were supposed to be, you would have saw that, wouldn't you, Miss Lauren? I mean, Miss Layla. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's all the apples. Let me make sure I get all of the sauce. Just a minute, baby, okay? Okay, excuse me, please. All right, now, this is a little sifter. We're gonna sprinkle powdered sugar. You want a lot or a little? Okay, I think this is enough sugar. Look at that, how much, how about that? Yeah. It's yeah? like on, um, 
the princess that the prince, the princess that kissed that friend. Yeah, her beignets. Yeah. Yeah. I want to make those beignets. But every time we did move it, the beignets just fell. Okay, so that's I'll good. Just the How's it look, girls? It looks amazing. I don't want Okay, guys. This is ready. We're going to go ahead and get them. You're actually supposed to taste it together. That's the whole point of it. This is not eggy bread. Eggy bread with stewed apples. You like it? Do you think you need some more, some more table syrup? Or is that enough for you? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Can I taste your apple fried too? Oh, okay. So, um, I'm going to get me a fork and taste a piece. Okay, so I'm going to try to get a piece that's been saturated with that good old caramel sauce. And I'm going to... Where are you going? She's getting more powdered sugar. I can't get that apple. It keeps running away from me. Okay, so... There we go. Oh, nope. There we go. Okay, so this is a good spoonful. It has apples and the eggy bread. All right. <laughs> mm. I went overboard. Okay, that's good. Now, considering I am a I have a sweet tooth. I would probably put more table syrup on the top of mine to make it better. That's what they probably should have done versus getting more um, powdered sugar. But you don't need it if you don't. If you don't like a lot of sweet, you don't have to use that. But I love it. Where's the syrup? Is it? It's on the side of the cabinet where it always is. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, Lauren, thank you for coming up with this. Um, idea for today and we're going to post it in the morning so maybe with Jaleo will come down here tomorrow morning when you got no you guys will be going to school in the morning so Friday morning maybe when me and Jaleo can make some breakfast okay well, what, we're going to work Friday. Not, not Friday morning we're going, to eat, we're going to eat breakfast first so Jaleo what do you want to make for breakfast Friday morning um before we go it gotta be something good like, because we gotta go somewhere yeah um, it's bread, but not this. Mm -hmm. It has, you have to like cut the middle into a circle and then you crack an egg in the middle of the circle and then you um, fry it. Yeah, and then you put cheese on it. Oh, that sounds good. We'll make that fry. Okay, can you what? Just... what? You cut the egg, you cut the bread into a circle in the middle though, and then you crack an egg in it. And then you put cheese on it and you fry it. Like an egg McMuffin? But it gotta have like a circle thing. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and finish this out, you guys. I hope you liked my little moments in the kitchen with my girls today. Um, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want to be notified each time I upload a new video, hit the bell below. Thanks and God bless. Bye!